firstly, I would love to welcome Mel Hulbert to Family History Down Under. And Mel is going to be one of our speakers at FHDU 2021 in March of next year. So Mel, welcome. And why don't you just tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm sure people would be interested. Thanks, Susie. Um... I guess my background is in astronomy. So I developed an interest in that at a young age and um, I work in astronomy and education at the moment. Um, I also developed an interest in family history when I was quite young as well, um, probably a little bit older, maybe about 14 or thereabouts and um, kept that interest and it sort of bubbled away for a while and I was busy with uni and different things. So it was really after that that I really started to get into it more seriously. So what actually triggered your interest in family history? What started it? Um, we visited one of my dad's uncles and he... Um, he had done some of the family on my dad's maternal line and um, and he told some stories. So things like uh, being in the Doomsday Book, the area that um, family was supposed to be from and that uh, the name, some of the barons did come over with William the Conqueror, whether or not that's true, huh? hard to tell it with what records we have, but that sort of thing stayed with me, um, even roughly the name of the baron or barons themselves. And so, um, and he gave us a, a family history, just a little mini tree. And I used to pull that out and some of the information and look at it and things like that. And, uh, and I guess that kind of just kept, kept my interest going in it. Mm. Terrific. And having a, a science background, which you do have, I, I guess you got were comfortable on the internet from fairly early on. And of course, these days, there is so much family history on the internet. So with that background, is that why you felt comfortable doing family history and progressing further with it? Yes, partly. I think partly too, for me, I need proof as a scientist. And so that's what we need in family history. And so while I haven't always been as good at the citations as I should have been um, initially when I started out, that is something that um, I don't mind doing. Other people loathe it, but I citations and references are good for me. Uh, I also enjoy just that plain detective like all yeah. of us do, I think. So um, it's a lot of fun. And uh, it reminds me of science, though, because you have to think outside the box sometimes when you can't find what you're looking for and come at it from a different um, approach. Yeah. Another thing, Mel, that I found talking to some of our wonderful different speakers that we've got coming up for our conference in March 2021 is people who are presenters and love sharing their knowledge with other people tend to be involved with a lot of different groups and societies. Is that the case with you? Yes, I am involved in a number of different societies. Um, on the astronomy side, there's Sutherland Astronomical Society. I'm also um, a member of the Astronomical Society of New South Wales and also the Astronomical Society of Australia. But in family history, I'm a member of Botany Bay Family History Society and also of the Society of Australian Genealogists. And I think you're... Um belittling your role there actually do you want to give us the full details of your involvement with SAG? Uh, with the society I've um, been on the board now for five years and uh, at the end of 2018 I became the president of the society and at the current time I still am. Excellent it's um I know personally it's really rewarding being involved with different societies and I think you mentioned the botany group they're pretty active from memory and things that I've seen. 
Yes, yes, they are. They are. They always. Um, there's always a good turnout from Botany Bay at the state conferences, and also at congresses. And they are quite active in um, the different interest groups they have. Um, yeah, so it's a really nice group to belong to, but and very different. It's a locally based um, society, um, whereas uh, SAG tends to be a much more um, I guess across the country, New Zealand, we even have some international members. So you've even got members from Geelong because I'm one, because <laughs> my ancestors were all from New South Wales. Now, just looking at the program, um, because if I've got it correct, you're giving one presentation in person, which is photo restoration for family historians. And also you're providing one of the additional recordings, which is the genealogist toolbox. Can you tell me how you feel about after the year we've been through being involved in a real live conference? I think after the year we've been through, a real life conference is going to be great. It's going to be so different to what we've kind of accepted almost as the norm as this sort of video conferencing. Um, but I think one of the great things about a face-to-face -face conference is you get to meet people, you network, all of that social interaction. And that's a big part of um, family history. We're always talking about our different brick walls or puzzles to each other. And often that's how we can resolve some of them too. But just meeting up with people, um, and that real social side, I think, is is a great part of a conference. But then so are the other talks because you're learning as well. And it's nice to do it face to face. Um, while this type of video conferencing is great um, that we're using currently, it's still not quite the same as being there in person. How true. And I think, like you, I'm sort of looking forward to that human interaction. And it was interesting that you mentioned when we were chatting previously that you were at DNA Down Under, which was a fantastically successful conference in Sydney. And the feedback that we got from attendees was just being there with so many other people and the buzz that existed. It really was vibrant. And I think that's what we're going to look forward to in, in March 2021. Even if we do are constrained by the numbers, I think the fact of actually being able to meet it is going to be fantastic. Yes, definitely. And DNA Down Under last year was, was as you said, a wonderful experience big great buzz and feel to it everybody excited about learning and um and catching up with each other and meeting new people as well mel that's terrific thank you so much for your time um it's been lovely chatting and it will be so nice to meet you in march in person uh as we did back in what was the august last year um at dna down under so Thank you, and we look forward to it. Thanks, Susie. I look forward to meeting everybody uh, next year as well at the conference.